Well, we got some wind power tonight, and we're st about to start a new Sega of this uh, off grid again. We got a new battery. That's right. We're not dealing with just little hybrid batteries anymore. This is a f well, actually, technically, this is still almost a hybrid. It's from a Chevy Volt. It's 16 kilowatt battery, lithium. I believe it's lithium ion. Let's see what she says here. Okay, we got 60, 16 kilowatts at 360 volts. Doesn't say exactly what it is. It's lithium. And we're gonna take this sucker apart. Pretty excited to add this to the system. Even if it has 14 kilowatts usable left, that would be amazing. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so I made a big mess. Got coolant all over my front entrance here. But uh, so far, what I see I like. The voltage seems very good on these cells. So we got a 24 volt cell. This is a 6S, I believe. And this is a 48 volt cell. 12S. 48 volt, 12S. 48 volt, 12S. 48 volt, 12S. 48 volt, 12S. Um, 24 volt 6s, 48 volt 12s, 48 volt 12s. So, <coughs> this is going to go into my system easy. I'll be able to hook this up to a uh, magnet sign inverter. And uh, it's going to be separate from my, my Hyundai uh, Sonata batteries, but that's okay. Because it's, I got, if these are brand new, 16 kilowatts if they've lost some energy 14 kilowatts around we'll find out but everything's looking really good here and i'm not even going to take these the rods out that's holding everything together just leave it as it is because it's it's pretty much perfect 48 volt 48 volt 24 volt i'll take that one put it on the end of that one with a 24 volt now i got a 48 volt again so it'll be 48 volt everything will be 48 volts it's gonna be great Anyways, can't wait to get this together. Thanks for watching, guys. Just when you thought I couldn't get more batteries, well, I did. This is the Chevy Volt battery. As you can see, divided right there by that line. This is a 48 volt battery. That's a 48 volt battery. That's a 48 volt battery. 48 volt battery. 24 volt battery. 48 volt. 48 volt. 24 volt. 48 volt. And you can see right here. That is a 2 kilowatt, 1 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt, this would be a 1 kilowatt, 2, 2, 2, 2. And uh, I checked the voltage, everything looks great. These look like they're, uh, well, 12 cells um, in series sitting at... Uh, what was it? 49 point something. 49 point, say 5. 49.5 volts. That's what the cells are sitting at. It's They're pretty much at a, like a perfect sitting voltage. Uh, I have no idea how long they sit, sat for. Uh, got them at a junkyard. They only had one. They haven't had one before. Just got very lucky. This is a 2012, so it is older. Um, 
So we'll see what the capacity is like. I'm hoping it's going to be good. But now, th these are going to be used on the Magnusine inverter, where all of these are going to be used on the Reliable inverter. So, two separate systems. Um, I'm thinking Reliable will be for 110 stuff in the house, including the washing machine. This will be all the 240 stuff. It'll be split. I'm going to split the load evenly. I'm going to have, uh, depending on uh, what I'm using more, I might put more solar panels on one or the other. Right now, everything's on this. But now we're going to start using the Magna Sine Wave for the first time. Well, other than charging purposes. Um, I'm running my wire into my house. I'm going to have a generator panel. And we're going to use these. And when these go dead, I'm going to have a a switch, one of those circular switches, to switch to these batteries or both. But uh, yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a very interesting system. I'm gonna have lithium uh, on one end, gel batteries on the other end, and then a higher voltage uh, lithium um, separate system. So this is gonna be very interesting. And we're going to see how this goes. I might need to get another classic. So a total of three. Uh, we'll see about that. I might not have to. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, yeah, we got some big things happening. Who knows? Maybe I'll save these for my Nissan, uh, Nissan Leaf. Another 15 or 16 kilowatts or whatever these are. Stick in the back would definitely get you some some good range. I could re-hook up all the liquid cooling, put a little rat radiator with cooling. It'd be interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, so today we have tons of power. Batteries are fully charged. Making wind power. <coughs> but because this is uh, this says it's past my stopping voltage which I'm going to raise that slightly um, I have a diversion load coming out through here and it's the when this hits 66 volts or 60 65.9 volts it turns on a 15 volt signal which goes to this relay right here this solid state relay and that's just an on and off switch. And then I have an extension cord that is plugged into my inverter going to this heater. And I splice the wires at the back, right there. And that is, this is now my on and off switch for this heater. And this heater is pumping out full power from the inverter, 1500 watts. And that, right there, is my homemade uh, dump load for a wind turbine. <coughs> Still got to set a few parameters on this char uh, this charge controller, but it seems to be working really well. Um, this one's taken over the load because we got a lot of solar, so we're fully charged with 1500 watts coming in because I am pulling 1500 watts. <coughs> and this will help keep this room warm uh, whenever we have access power, excess power, and then uh, yeah. And it's got a safety if I bump it or knock it over it shuts off so that's good <coughs> gotta wire it more permanently but yeah sweet I just wanted to see if it worked and it does seem to be working I'm gonna keep an eye on this today I had to use an all DC um, uh, solid state uh, solid state switch or solid state whatever you call these things solid state relay I got this uh, DC input and AC output and I put it on it was just it was flickering on and off on and off and it was making the lights in here go all wacky so AC did not work DC DC even though the switching side is is AC running through it but it does this relay doesn't care uh, I went with a DC and it works great <coughs> so everything seems to be working good I'm just gonna change some voltage settings on this and uh, yeah we're all set and there you go I set uh, my charging uh, voltage 0.3 of a volt higher so 66.3 volts because the difference between this voltage 
reading and this voltage reading is always 0 0.3 of a volt. It's really annoying. I gotta go into settings and fix that, but for now that's what I did. I got some wind power coming in. <coughs> and I also have this dump loading into here. So we're gonna test this, see how it works. All my connections are nice and cool. Nothing seems to be getting warm other than the heater. Thanks for watching, guys.